There's one other uh, feature that I use quite a bit with um, Xdebug, and that's an enhanced output. So, so go ahead. Can I ask a question? Yeah. So a tool like this, let's suppose you just do a, you know, a real simple like ten entries, ten articles, and you did it like all the same Joomla, Drupal, WordPress, Django. Who would come out the best? Or the That's a really good question. Uh, I haven't tested any of them out. Uh, I think anybody who does will get a lot of hits their blog post about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do they cache pages? I mean, that's... By default? Can you turn that on? Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's it's a uh, plugin that you have to download. Um, but uh, WordPress has actually made it pretty easy these days, where you can go into their admin interface and just via point and click download and install plugins without ever even logging into SSH. It's pretty much cool. Definitely having that installed, having APC, um, those things make uh, basically any CMS run a lot better. Um, but most CMSs benefit considerably from static file caching, where they just load the entire page up and write it out to a file because it's not going to change until you make another post, generally speaking. Uh, the White House uses Drupal. Does it really? Yeah. Just switch. Interesting. Yeah, that's, yeah, uh, that's, an, uh, that's a yeah. ringing endorsement. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> they get a lot of traffic, at least. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're back at our feed sifter tool, and uh, uh, what I'm going to do here is add a little bit of debug output so we can just have a look at the variables that were going into there. Uh, X debug stuff. Okay, so we've got our feed ready to roll. Let's have a look at the code here. Index.php. So we're curious about, we've got this debug here, and this debug. Uh, doesn't even have the looks of it. It does a whole lot of nothing, really. Um, it iterates through a bunch of stuff, but it does take a really close look at the variables as they pass through there. So let's see what that does for us. Okay, so this is what XDebug looks like uh, when you, you when you have. Uh, Errors that normally show up on um, PHP, you know, they're, they're basically an ugly error format with a bold message and a little bit of italics there. Uh, Xdebug takes it to the next level. Um, they add colors, which is fancy. Uh, they link to uh, user documentation uh, anytime they can. Uh, and they give you lots of information that you uh, would not otherwise have with a standard um, variable output. This is with trigger error. Uh, another valuable feature in xdebug is it takes over the function var dump. Uh, many of you, I'm sure, use var dump to have a good look at any variable that's passing through your hands. Uh, when when we were stepping through the code earlier, what we could have done is clicked on any variable and uh, looked at the contents of it there. But let's say we don't have time; we're not set up to do remote de debugging. Uh, you can use var dump to say look at all the bits. It appears to be a variable we have defined. So here's what our bits look like. This is a little bit prettier than the standard bar dump. Uh, it adds a, a bit of color for you. It, um, uh, it gets even more advanced when you throw objects its way. Um, I've got a very, very simple object. Uh, that I can show you, but one of the coolest features I just wanted to illustrate here is that uh, it's actually truncating the data down to a usable length. Um, I think we, we get the point at this point, uh, what's going on here. Uh, so it's it's not necessary for them to go to the full length of that line, but um, uh, we can see here that there are 127 elements in this. Uh, no, okay, it's more because of the truncated length. Thank goodness. Can you get it to print the full? You know, let's find out. It appeared that, oh, right, 
Well, let's actually look at the documentation. I'll take that. I'll do this one better. Uh, XDebug.